don't see Dr. Bananas anywhere. Forget Dr. Bananas. Where are all the dinosaurs the invitation promised? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I love dinosaurs. How do you know? You've never met a dinosaur. I watched a bunch of Barney when I was little. Little-er, you mean, right? <laughs> Greetings, special guests! I couldn't possibly be more excited to show you my latest creation! Real dinosaurs! Yeah, right, dude! Dinosaurs went extinct so long ago, not even Grandpa Lemon remembers them. It's true! Also, uh, I don't really remember last week, so there's that, you know. I understand your skepticism, and am excited to squelch it! <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute. Why is it pink? Yeah! Looks more like Barney that way. <laughs> oh, my dinosaurs are pink, you see. They're pink because pigs are pink. Huh. Quickly, to the Jeep. I will explain everything. <laughs> you see, it's very scientific. I brought the dinosaurs back from extinction by using their DNA. I used some DNA from fossils and filled in the gaps with pig DNA. Why pigs? Well, I had a buddy who's a pork chop who was willing to sign the necessary consent form. So I guess they're not really dinosaurs as much as they're swinosaurs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna have to use that. This is exactly why I asked you to come here, Orange. Your branding skills are fantastic. I need your input before the park opens. Instead of calling it Jurassic Park, why not call it Jurassic Park? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, why did you invite the rest of us, Doc? Pear. You know more about science than anyone in the kitchen. I'd love to have your endorsement. Grandpa Lemon, I needed you here because you can inexplicably fly a helicopter. And you, Midget Apple? Well, you... Go ahead! Just say it! You need me here to see if the little kids can ride the rides or not! But that's equally important. <laughs> <laughs> and now, without further ado, welcome to Jurassic Park! Like, didn't it? Hey, what's in that mysterious jungle cage over there? Oh, you see, that's where we keep the Velociraptors. You mean the sausage raptors? <laughs> <laughs> it gets funnier every time. Aw, oh, man! It's raining! Actually, that's a good thing. That'll really bring the dinos out. They love mud. They are part pig, after all. Sure enough! Here comes the Triceratops now! Hey guys, uh, is it just me or does that Triceratops seem way bigger than expected? It's probably just you, small fry. <laughs> no, he's right. That's odd. The Triceratops was normal size just a few days ago. But did you take into account that pigs grow super huge in a super short period of time? I did not take that into account. So, basically we're stuck on an island with a bunch of dinosaurs that can grow too big for their own fences. A slight oversight, I admit. Hey, everybody! Let's get a group photo by this lake. Wait, that's no lake. I it isn't? Ah! Ah! A Tyrannosaurus Rex! You mean Tyrannosaurus Short Ribs Rex? <laughs> now is not the time, Orange! Ah! Dinosaurs are stuck on that island and can't get to the mainland. <laughs> Alan, this species is 
of Veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a this thing. Why? Everybody, and welcome to story time. I actually just found out Orange is taking the day off today, so excuse me for a moment while I go process that. Yeah! <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now then, standing in for Orange today is Lou the Tick. Great to be here, Pear. Excited to expose the dark truth about today's story. Um. Well, today's story is Jurassic Park. It's not exactly a mystery, so I'm not sure what you expect to expose. Oh, I have a few ideas. I'll say, your manifesto is longer than the book. You bet Jurassic it is. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let's see how this goes. Once upon a time, an eccentric millionaire invited a crack team of dinosaur experts out to a remote island. The reason? He wanted to give them a sneak peek at his new dinosaur-themed park before it opened to the public. But here's the twist. When the team got there, they discovered the millionaire had actually cloned real dinosaurs. And here's the other twist. That's a complete lie. He did not clone dinosaurs. What? I'm pretty sure that's how the story goes, Lou. Oh, Bear. Bear, Bear, Bear. What are we gonna do with you, bud? You think Hollywood actually brought dinosaurs out of extinction for this movie? Bro, they're robots. Okay, I understand that. I don't think you do, amigo. Because earlier, you said that dinosaurs were real. Right. In the story, they were real. And that's where you're wrong. Because there were robots in the movie. There was some state-of-the-art CGI involved as well. Lou, I- Oh, bro, you are so lucky I'm here to dispel the misinformation for the audience. I can't believe you thought the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park were real. I don't think that. I'm working within the reality of the story, Lou. Sorry to break it to you, amigo, but Jurassic Park, it isn't reality. It's fiction. I'm aware. Jurassic Park doesn't actually exist. It is a made-up place. I believe it might even be a book. It is a book. Can we please just get back to the story? Ugh. Okay. So on the first night, it began to rain, hard. And this was bad news for the dino experts because the power on the island went out, which meant the electric fences around the dinosaur pens stopped working. And to make matters worse, water did a real number on the dinos. Because again, they were actually robots. Dude, no, I'm serious. You ever see a robot get wet before? I have. They start wiggity wiggity. <laughs> They start freaking out, man! Fine, whatever. Across the entire island, dinosaurs started wiggity wigging out. Exactly, they went nuts. Not even Steven Spielberg could control them. Wait, you actually think Steven Spielberg is in Jurassic Park? Um, he only directed it. Of course he was there. And yet despite the dino robots going berserk and all that, nobody died. The end. No, not the end, Lou. A ton of people die in Jurassic Park. They're actors, Pear! <laughs> it was all fake. The quote-unquote lawyer who got eaten on the toilet, the so-called Nedry who got ink spat in his face, these are just actors. They're totally fine and went on to do a number of other projects in their careers. You think I don't know that? Sure, you know it now because I've educated you. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what? You tell the story. <laughs> you mean it? Yeah. I can't wait to see how you tell the story of Jurassic Park without any suspension of disbelief whatsoever. It's not gonna be good. Of course it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Okay, here we go. The year was 1993. Steven Spielberg assembled a crack team of thieves and liars. What? Some might call them actors or crew members, but the truth is they embarked on a project to defraud and fool the general populace, all for the sake of making money. That's preposterous. Is it fair? Is it? First, they built some fake dinosaurs. 
Actors pretending to die from dino attacks, they recorded everything on a camera, and then they released the footage to the unsuspecting public. They actually paid money to watch Steven Spielberg's fake documentary about killer dinosaurs! No one thought Jurassic Park was real, dude! Oh yeah? Then explain how Jurassic Park went on to make over a billion dollars at the box office pair. Obviously, a lot of people were very fooled. I know I was, but in the years since I've done independent research and uncovered the truth, Jurassic Park is fake! No, this is ridiculous! Is it? Because the only thing that seems ridiculous to me is how you can sit here and defend Steven Spielberg after he fleeced the world like this. And what's worse is that he keeps doing it. Jaws? The shark is a robot! Indiana Jones? Look a little closer. That's just Han Solo in a hat! It's all a big conspiracy. Wake up, sheeple! All right, well, I think that's enough truth for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. E.T., that's not what aliens look like. Believe me, I know. That's a puppet, amigo. Enough! Okay, I can see I'm about to be censored by this book cover. Everybody go check out my blog, www.truthblog.com! <laughs> 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 This park's pretty dynamite, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Gotta go. Hey, where are you going? If you're trying to escape, you should go that way. Uh, I mean that way. Oh, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to point when you don't have hands. <laughs> I'm gonna run you over when I come back down. Oh, yeah? Hey, hey, Dennis. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 You dropped this can. Oh, but I ate some of it. 